Do you like cutting things up? How about gluing stuff? Or even using adhesive to put foam on a graphics card? Maybe you like to dabble with paint? Or even hang some pretty tricolor lights? And for what? Just the curiosity of will it work? Then you're in luck, my friend. It's not what the heck, it's Mods Tech. Now this is a gory scene and you may have to look away, but if someone offers you a PS4 for cheap or even free, be very suspicious. As for in the southern US, this may be more common than you would think. Bugs, rather roaches, will kill electronics and you may not even know that they're in there. But with the electronics out and uh, the case fully bleached, I did get an idea. Hmm, I still have that old HP T620 plus HP thin client computer. Now the T620 Plus flexible thin client is not going to blow you away with its specs. It is an SOC which means system on a chip. And to break that down farther, everything is mostly integrated like the CPU and the GPU which are pre-soldered so no upgrading that. Or can you? You see, the flexible thin client comes with a PCIe 4x slot with a 16x PCIe angle card. So GPU upgrading is available. This ought to be pretty neat. This is the mid part of the PS4, the chassis I call it, and um, it's kind of brittle when the parts aren't on it, like the lid and the bottom, so I'm being careful just to cut out what I think I need at, for the moment without cutting it all out. And at this point I'm like, bada bing, it's gonna work, and I'm really happy about that, so uh, continue on. But unfortunately it's just not gonna fit like that, so uh, I'm gonna have to do some cutting and some modding. For that, let's move over to the lid. I'm using a silhouette vinyl cutter to design it. So I can cut, stick, and trace, and cut out with the Dremel later. I'm sure putting something on it, you know, with cardboard would work just as well. Using the PS4's USB port holes, I was able to hot glue these USB extension cables which I picked up at the dollar store and they should work well because the T620 has two USB 3.0 slots in front. Two weird things here, I brought this GTX 750 Ti out of the little woman's PC without her permission and then I glued foam on the back of it so I could lay it across the motherboard without it shorting out because clearance is a factor. And oh yeah, please don't tell on me, please. Little Krylon Fusion Matt White. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little Krylon Fusion. Well, all right, let's uh, wing this reassembly and uh, spin that track. Hot glue foam and RGB, isn't modding great? Hey, 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 
Oh, just so you know, the GTX 750Ti, I did take the fan off, and uh, temperatures are fine, but the lid went closed with it on. I had to add some extra cooling, but it's all cool. Now this end client came with a 16 gigabyte M.2 SSD and I upgraded to a 60 gigabyte. That's how I'm able to run Windows 10 on it. Oh, cool, I found this light bar in my junk drawer. I know it's 12 volt, but what if I can get it to run off 5? If it does, I could tie it into a fan that I already have spliced and running off USB. I think it'll be a perfect fit where the Blu-ray drive was, and that would be pretty neat, I think. But first, I'm going to put some foam on each side as to block out any light that might leak out from the inside. So I was in a hurry when I painted the lid, and there was one drip. So what better way to cover it up? And who knows, I might sand and repaint it again someday. Alright, so we're almost there. Let's break it down. So we got a 25 watt quad core processor, runs 2 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of 1600 DDR3 RAM, NVIDIA GTX 750Ti, Windows 10 Pro, and an 85 watt, yeah, 85 watt PSU in the form of AC adapter. Now I just hope that the lid fits. It should. Let's check it out. Okay, performance wise and PC standards, we're not exactly killing it, but Rocket League, high settings works great. Doom on medium settings, working fine. But Gears 5, just a tad on the laggy side. Honestly, this is a thin client, guys. Did you even think it could do this? I didn't. So if I don't see you until after Halloween, please do send me your uh, spare peanut butter cups. <laughs> till next time, guys. Bye.